Just Bounce is an exercise in LCM Step 1 that is focusing on staccato playing. So, first couple of phrases go like this. So, you can probably hear there, we have got thirds. Um, a lot of third um, intervals happening. And we are five finger position in both hands. Now, when I taught piano many years ago, the first thing I got my students to do was do this. So I would have got them to have their fingers ready over the notes so they kind of feel their fingers over the keys. And then this is what they were like. Okay, so it's like, okay, my thumb, that's on middle C. And everything was just so stiff and so tense. So, I'm going to give you just an idea for helping students play staccato, play with the staccato touch really well. Now, when they bounce off these keys, they're hard. The surface of these keys is hard and they don't get a sense of springiness, which is why I've got this cushion. And you can see that there's this lovely sense of, of movement. And what I get students to do is where even initially they're just getting this sort of movement going so that they can, one way of it is kind of imagining that it's some little animal and it's on a trampoline and it's bouncing, then getting them to do it with their fingers. So we don't get this sort of action. Everything's stiff, but where everything, there is this lovely, flexible and relaxed, relaxed wrist and arm movement. And you can hear the difference. So, Getting them to do it like that, feeling the push off, and then getting them to, let's say, I'm going to make up this pattern, they're going to play the C four times, and then they're going to play E four times, and then let's go back and forwards. Now you'll see that my hand is moving a little bit, I'm not stuck. To the, the surface of the keys and that's what we're really wanting students to have the confidence of moving in this way. Then we could get them to do the same exercise as a sequence so let's say it's on D and F so D four times, lovely flexible wrist, back to the F four times and then D, F, D, F and all the time you can see the, the action of the wrist. But this can be useful and it's another prop and props tend to get our students excited.